Dear Little Mermaid stage crew, I have a confession. I'm Ariel. Before you laugh, let me explain. I grew up on the cast side of the theater. Stage crew was a bizarre and daunting frontier. When I became your director two years ago, I was like a mermaid out of water. I had a vague idea of how my shiny new surroundings functioned, but my knowledge of the details was limited. You could have told me microphone elements were called snarf blats, and I probably would have rolled with it. Like Ariel, I found solace in the company of patient, compassionate people. You invited me to be part of your world. For three years, you let me observe your work. You taught me your skills. You supported me while I learned to stand on my legs. As I've told some of you before, it's been a pleasure to learn from my students. In my day job, I often function as a guide, leading recurring groups of kids along paths I've traveled many times. In stage crew, we're more like partners venturing into the unknown. I can't depend on myself, and that makes it easier to give you opportunities. I'm proud of everything we've built, literally and figuratively, but I know the winds are changing. Next year, with one or two exceptions, the core group that nourished me from the beginning will be gone. I've been dreading that parting, but I always imagined the pain would come at the end of the production, like ripping off a band-aid. In reality, the band-aid has been peeling slowly all year. In all my planning, I forgot to consider that talented, motivated students lead multifaceted lives. I have to admit, I felt frustrated when commitments prevented some of you from doing as much as you did in the past. It forced me to plan, build, paint, and direct more than I ever have before. Looking back, I'm grateful you gave me that opportunity, even if I did not recognize it as an opportunity at the time. This year's challenges showed me that your teaching worked and that my directing life can go on with fresh faces. They showed me that phrases like, I trust you, and I'm confident we'll make this work, were actual convictions, not just flattering words. Most of all, they showed me that my transformation is complete and that I belong to your side of the theater world now. Looking ahead, I also see a little of myself in King Triton. I've watched you all grow up and enjoyed it immensely. I want to hang on to you, but I know I have to let you go on to bigger things. As my own power grows, I have to discipline myself to ensure future students receive the same opportunities I gave you. In your honor, I hope I'm equal to the new task. Thank you all for an outstanding production. Thank you junior high newcomers Simon, Elijah, Ryan, Emily, Carly, and Harry. You are all a great fit, and I'm excited to work with you for the next few years. Thank you veterans, Cassidy, Megan, Allie, Owen. I hope you know how much I value your commitment and leadership. Thank you Sam, Dalton, Tessa Carroll, John, and Savannah. It's been a pleasure, and I will miss working with you. Thank you Paige. I wish I'd put you backstage sooner. Thank you Tessa Hansconnect. I deeply respect your vision for including younger kids. You were definitely the builder I needed this year. Thank you Riley. If I'm Ariel, you're Flounder. Always available. Always willing to step up to a challenge, even if you didn't totally feel comfortable doing it. Thank you, Eleanor. You're like Bonus Scuttle. Equally positive and unflappable under pressure, but actually as smart as he thinks he is. Thank you, Katie. You're totally Sebastian. I'm sorry for throwing you into so much hot water and grateful that you always have my back. Probably in more ways than I know. Thank you to Absentia to Ronan, the Ursula who goaded me into doing this whole thing. You didn't take my voice, but you did try to take my keys. I think the analogy fits. Also a belated thank you for Gus, our chef Louie. I miss your outstanding work on your craft, but we all know you drove Sebastian crazy. Thank you to Mrs. McGinnis, Mrs. Johnson, and Miss Barras. I suppose you're technically Flotsam and Jetsam for roping me into this. Thank you Mrs. Sevier and Mrs. McHugh. I don't recognize you enough for your invaluable contributions. Thank you, Mr. Fon, for always being available to advise me. If any cast members are watching, thank you for being so cooperative, enthusiastic, flexible, and talented. I'm proud of our magical show and excited for what the future holds. Best wishes for Senior High Stage Crew. I look forward to seeing your magic. Mr. Whiteman.